Need that, Sam. Just make sure your face is not too dirty when you use this. So my work days are a lot shorter now. Stop it! Oh, okay. Trifle. I saw Shorty. I was like, wait, she is thick. The toenails were growing out. What up and good morning. So today we have somebody coming. Today we have somebody coming to clean our floor, the tile and grout. You know when you clean your tile floors, but the in-between never gets clean? Well, it's been a long time and they look mad dirty. My hat looks weird because I have two braids right here and then the two in the back. I left my hair in a half up, half down so that it could be easy to do my half up, half down style. But then I co-washed the front and did two braids, laid them down so that I could still put on a full wig. It's like a whole situation right now. <laughs> I figured it out and I like it. I can easily still wash my hair in the braids, but then also switch my hair and do different styles very easily. I just braid on Versace for women and it smells so good. I forgot I had this sweatshirt from Sephora Squad. So thank you to the team. I forgot I had it and I'm, I just threw it on. I love how oversized it is. But yeah, I need to wash my hair being wig. This is the this is the shorter one the first one that i ever bought look at it real snarly but i'm gonna give her a good wash and i'm gonna let her hang out on the wig head and i let's see i'm about to do my devotion and some reading today's friday i was gonna wake up early but i said bump that i'm tired i gotta give myself a break so i slept in in was seven o'clock no close to seven because of but that's fine. It's more than, it's better than four o'clock, right? <laughs> it's better than four o'clock. Yo, public school starts next because he's been in private since eight months. Public school starts next week, and I'm just like, yo, my work days are gonna be a lot shorter now, a lot shorter now because I gotta get in the carpool line, which is you gotta get there early. Apparently, the carpool line is like a whole thing, and then so both times drop off, drop off and pick up. So my work days are a lot shorter now. And you know I have a goal of not working once he gets home. He's on my phone trying to report stuff. So it's just there's gonna be a little transition. It's gonna be a little transition going on starting next week. And I mean there already is a transition because he's home and it's difficult to do stuff with him being home. But it's forcing me to to balance. It really is. For instance, this morning it's ten o'clock and I have not checked my email yet because I woke up late. But I woke up in a, a good time for me. I needed it. Something in my eye. Just to like just I need a break. And then usually I'm a little frantic and checking my email or just very attached to my email but I think I explained this here I'm not sure if it was here or IG stories but it's necessary to, to put boundaries there and you know I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna get to when I this feels tight I'm gonna get to when I because the braids when I get to it it's, it's just gonna be what's gonna be you feel what I'm saying what are they? I'm trying to take this out so I can take pictures he wants to use my selfie stick and take pictures. Ni, nee, are you really serious right now? Yeah. First of all, okay, here. So. Thank you. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him taking mad pictures on my phone. Look at him, look at him. Just jumping up and down, taking 17. Jumping up and down, taking 17,000 pictures. <sighs> yeah, all right. So, yeah. And what else did I want to talk to you about? Believe Beauty. Y'all heard of Believe Beauty? They're in Dollar General, right? Not Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, Dollar General. I'm going to be trying them out. Let's see. I have some empties. I'm going to share it on IGTV. Maybe that's the best place to do it, or should I put it? I haven't done empties on a vlog in a long time. And an empty video by itself didn't perform well for me in the past, so I stopped that. I recorded the bridal look yesterday. That was interesting. Mmm. Otherwise, yeah, I'm just like cleaning around here. It's Friday. I'm going to take it easy today. I need to edit a little bit for IG. Oh, and I got to edit this vlog. <laughs> yeah, I got to edit this vlog. But my edits are not too wild because the vlogs, which I really do enjoy, are very much more relaxed. So the editing isn't isn't too wild and crazy. You give your toddler, oh god, now he's, do you hear the clicking? He's taking a million pictures of me. Okay, Nini, where are you? No, not done. Okay, so what's next? Nothing. Thank god for the select mode on what you call it because this is atrocious. I need to be able to quickly select and delete all of these pictures he's taking. 
Okay. No, you're not gonna do Okay, Nia, you're being very loud, okay? It's really early for all this noise. My sister would say, it's very noisy in this house. <laughs> no, it's not. As is me. Nidia Sam. Why the up close and personal pictures? I think. Mommy's beautiful? Is she beautiful? Huh? Yes. Yes? That's why. That's why. That's why you're taking all these pictures, huh? What are you going to do with the pictures? Keep it on your phone. Keep it on my phone. To do what? Come, you have, you have, you have boogers in your nose. What is that? It's just... Oh, it's crusty. It came from the waffles. Good. How can the boogers come from the waffles? Look at that. And you just flick them around. Who, who else flicks their boogers around? So what else are you going to do with it? You're not going to just... You flick it and then wipe your hand on the floor. <laughs> That's not cleaning the garbage. I'm cleaning the garbage. Don't worry. Excuse me. Go okay. for chapstick on. Chapstick is just an all day thing. Every day. All day. No! Chapstick is everywhere. Excuse me. I don't want the yelling. I don't want all that right now. Yeah, it's not that? an all day thing. Okay, so but see, I don't want the yelling. Do you got it? Okay. Thank you very but much. But I'm going to take you more pictures. Until <laughs> I'm done. Okay, go get chapstick, please. It's like the dry lips. I have chapstick in his backpack. I'm like, when I pick you up, you better not have dry lips. I just, oh, it just does something for me. Just, just give me hives. Here. Put it on, please. Why are you holding the thing like that? It's not as my eye. Done. Done? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. And then, I need to take and then this when you put thing out. on, it'd be like everywhere. Huh? I need to take this thing out. The remote? Mm hmm The remote. Ah, oh, something's in my eye. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then just put this down. Just put the camera down. The remote. The, you even saw the phone down. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, baby. No, and then you have to turn it like that. <laughs> turn it to where? You. Turn it to me? Yeah. Why do you want to turn it to me? Because I need right. to take you pictures. Why? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Stay there. Oh, now I'm dizzy. All right, my phone died. Yes, it did. No, oh, it did. You got the trickster. It doesn't work anymore. Yes, it does. Oh, Jesus. Here, take pictures of yourself. No! Gee, why are you running like that? Oh, God. I think this is called parental abuse. You're crying. Dying, Mason. So you are you are parentally abusive. You're crying because you're a baby. <laughs> what? It's you're not just babies that cry. Mommies and daddies can cry if we feel hurt. You cry when you're hurt, right? Huh? Sometimes I do not. Sometimes you yeah, sometimes you cry when you're hurt, Anna. Forever 21 from some time ago to two piece. My Mexico and Tima. I'm gonna wear my sandals. I'm doing better. I went in the pool with, with my bare feet yesterday. That's a big deal. It wasn't terrible. I'm just used to wearing what water shoes. It wasn't terrible. It was actually quite nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna challenge myself again and do it again today. So yeah, it's because pool day you like number it. two. Yeah, I do like it now. Pool day number two. Here we go. All right, I see you in the moment. It's not play. It's Traco. Our <clears throat> dinosaur you know mommy does not play love this wheelie wagon situation i got my situation from target this my husband got on the way got it from it's really great got our snacks inside tracos and toys and we going
Ew. Yeah. Ew. All right, let's go, baby. This is really good because usually I walk, but I wanted to just drive and then wheel the wagon. Makes it easier. No need to pull this up on my shoulders just too much. The wagon is great. Oh, they're back in the water now. Wait, that was a fast safety break. What in the world? Did they even break? I don't know what they did. Okay. Here's to pool day number two. It's not too bad out here. It's actually quite nice. So this will be really nice. Actually, Nia, you excited? Yeah. Yeah? Let's actually, go around the left, day okay? Day number three. Day number three in the pool left. Oh yeah, we did come one of the days during the week too, didn't we? <clears throat> I suppose we did. We came here too far. We did, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. If he's not balancing, then that means he's cool. <laughs> Franco was ready. Franco is Just made me dizzy. Because of the wagon from yesterday. Yes. Mommy. Right. This is big old Franco. Safety breaks, 10 minutes for the hour, and people left. It wasn't that packed, but people left, and now literally we're the only ones. Somehow, some way, we have it where when we get here, we're the only ones. <laughs> Which is fine with me. I mean, I'm not mad about it. If I need to post, what happened? I need to post, but, you know, again, I'm doing this, uh, you know, just enjoying life thing where I'm creating boundaries and unplugging a lot more. So, uh, you know, I'll post. I'll get to it. You feel what I'm saying? I'll get to it. But right now, we have to post. I'm actually creating, duh, right? I'm the, I'm the camera right now with y'all creating, but still, you know what I'm saying? Still. sitting here like you know what go ahead and just sun my face because my body is darker than my face and I also don't want a sun tan around my sunglasses because that would be atrocious so the sun needs to come back out it's going in and out in, from in front of and behind the clouds it needs to come back out so that I can just let it hit my face I have my sunscreen it is what it is I just want to even out my face because I, I'm, I'm just annoyed. I just want like one color. Well, as close as I can get because obviously I'm gonna get a tan on my chest. But you get what I'm saying. I just need the face to match a little bit. And then of course I need to change my foundation, which I'm like <laughs> trying to use the same ones, but nah, son. I gotta change, change out the foundation to something darker. I ha I know I have one or two that are dark for me. For instance, the Tan what's it called Lancome Santi Dole. That one is really dark on me, so I'll use that one. Yeah, if I do remember correctly, that one is really dark, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Mm -hmm. Good morning, what up and what up though? I do wear my wig today. I still am in my pajamas. I did my skincare, put my SPF on, but I have my wig on, and I'm still in my pajamas. And I feel good about it. <laughs> I did some unpacking, excuse me, I ordered something two hours or less from Walmart Grocery. You know how you can do that option if you have Walmart Grocery pickup or delivery. So I did the two hour delivery and they came within an hour. And I ordered a bunch of stuff. So I was putting that away. I'm about to make my morning drink. I toggle between iced coffee or hot coffee, but now I ordered this new from Amazon because I ran out. I love this. My friend put me on to matcha years ago. I don't drink it hot. I'm not into it hot. You do have to make sure that it's really stirred up well. So what I do is take hot water and mix the powder and then I apply, not apply. Then I, what I used to do is pour it over ice with almond milk but the flavor would come from my sugar-free syrups. And now I'm trying to think, what, what the one I'm using right now is vanilla. So I suppose I'll just use the vanilla. I think it'll be good. I'm gonna do this iced, but then I'm tempted to get something hot because I feel cold. Our air condition is on. I feel cold, my, my tips of my fingers are cold, so I wanna get something hot. So I have my hot cup right here. I'm gonna put a coffee in here, I think. I'm gonna just go down a journey of coffee slash matcha this morning and then get into my water. I'm editing <clears throat> the vlog today. 
I am watching church on my computer using my new Bluetooth earpiece. I love these, the ones that look like the, the, the I, what, I, AirPods, that. Mm -hmm. Love that. And yeah, that's what's going on around here. How you doing? I also want you to let me know two things. If you are in my text community, give me an idea of something that I can do exclusively for y'all. Like, do y'all want an exclusive Zoom call? Do y'all want an exclusive video that I just send the list out? Like I can leave it unlisted and then I send you the link and only you guys in my tech community can watch it. And that's, that's number one. And then number two, I need, I don't need, but I would love your ideas for videos. I have a long list of ideas for videos, right? But I want to make sure that I'm also capturing what you want to see. So give me some video ideas, whether it be a story time or a certain tutorial or like a date night looks, date night lookbook kind of a video that I have as an idea. So yeah, let me know two of those things. And if you're not in my text community, it's free. Anyone can join. The link is in my description. It's always there. You can always click it and join. I was just saying that I forgot I had my Alexa on, so I hope that the segment I just spoke in isn't gonna get me demonetized. You will deliver my victory. You can't hear because in my ear, but you can hear me singing it. You're always fighting for me, fighting for me. Do you believe that? Come on, you have to believe this. The battle, you never lost the battle. You're always fighting for me, fighting for me. And you never lost the battle. You never lost the battle. I smell coffee too. Yes, it's coffee. Why we want you pour it out? Because you weren't drinking it. But I Make it more, I won't. Make it more, I won't. I It's a waste of a. I have to get it, get rid of it, get rid of it. I don't need this. No, I have to get rid of it. I don't want any more of it because you it. I will throw things away if they're not being used, if they're wasting space and time. Me, you were not drinking the tea. My twatch me. Where is you Let us say it's been. It's been how many days? No. Nee, I don't know what you're talking about, but you. Stop it! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's how you feel about it. This how you feel about it. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, female. Yo, so let's talk about Put A Ring On It. Do you watch Put A Ring On It? Because I watch Put A Ring On It and Put A Ring On It is making me sick on it, okay? I am so sick of them. So the couple with the rapper, <sighs> tell me, are you one of those people that feels like if you've invested a decade plus or just a long period of time with somebody, despite all the red flags, despite all the nonsense, despite all the foolery, you're going to stay because you've been, you've invested so much time? Or do you have the awakening to realize that time or not, this is horrible. This is not worth my time. I'm worth more than this. Let me prepare my escape plan. Which are you, the former or the latter? Because that show just, it's very salacious. It's very dramatic. It's all the things and I watch it, I enjoy it, right? But I'm just so grieved by that scenario with the woman who I understand, understandably has invested 14 years. And what kills it is you gotta understand, it's 14 on and off years. He has three or two, two or three children in between those 14 years with other women. So like, are we staying even when he has babies in between the times where we're not together? And then now 
you're almost 30 or excuse me almost 40 mid 30s and you're ready to have your children and be married and and be taken more seriously and then here he is not sure that he wants to marry you like excuse me what how is that okay like that shit just grieves me so much and then he cheated with that girl first of all when i saw shorty i was like wait she is thick and beautiful like full cheeks dimples full she reminds me of somebody 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 on a show i used to watch a long time ago she looks just like her body lips cheeks face makeup hair oh ah. she looked get like scrumptious like you could just poke a hole and then like she I, she I don't know she just looked so fluffy and just beautiful right i already knew when the producers chose her it was for a clear temptation but that fool fell into the temptation and he slept with her now i was mortified you know and i just could not you know, from her point of view, from where she at in life, I see why she was like, oh yeah, on camera, I'm gonna make sure I let them know what it is because I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to let me go before you even own up to what happened to you and I. I feel her on that. I really, really did. Cause I was like, you ain't gonna play me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let them know on national TV what had, what had went down so that you can't skirt out this thing like it ain't nothing. I was just like, oh my God, but for the girlfriend, grief agony pain i just couldn't believe it i'm like see see all this in the condo all this in the condo that you felt like when he got rid of it it would make things better no baby it could be the condo it could be the trunk it, be, it could be the closet honey it could be denny's denny's uh what you call it bathroom girl the trashy bathroom in denny's it can be up in there you understand what i'm saying so oh man that that was uh that just it took my wig off you know it really pushed my wig back when she dropped that bombshell it was a bombshell indeed okay yeah that really just grieved me i was just thinking about that show and i'm just like dang it and i don't think that lady's gonna leave you know i feel like she's going she's going to puff up herself and say i'm not dealing with this i'm leaving but then she ain't gonna go you know if she does i don't believe it'll be right now this is obviously pre-filmed the seven or six eight, eight months ago i don't i don't know i just i've seen this story before and they don't leave you know and it's just really unfortunate because it's like dang man how much disrespect can a black woman take or should a black woman take or will a black woman take before she says all right i'm out of here this is enough you know it's just really it troubles me i was just thinking about that right, right now while i have my coffee and i'm gonna continue with what i'm doing but I, I was just listening to worship and I paused it and I was looking to find um, something and then it that came to my mind. <laughs> Clearly, I need to focus. Clearly, I need to focus on what I'm doing. What's going on with Sydney Cummins? What happened, girl? You ain't giving us new videos every day. I mean, you've done every every type of oh my god, you've done every type of exercise known to man. So I can't even imagine what new exercise you're going to give us. So I guess now we have to just watch the old stuff, which isn't bad. I mean, you give us new videos every day. That's a, that's like sick. It's been like 10 years. So that's, you know, it's all good. Okay. I, uh, when does, okay. Transformation Church comes on 11. So we still got time. All right. Well, let me go back to Hope City and see what's going on over there. All right. Check this out. I know that Many people are skeptical about shopping at AliExpress for lashes, which is where I get my lashes from. However, or not however, as a result, I'm going to make a purchase of these from Amazon, which look literally like the ones that I get. And when they come in, we're going to try them on and see what they do. Okay, so there we go. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Okay, so I had a guy come in today to clean the tile and grout. Never knew that, that that was even a thing, right? You know how you mop, mop, mop your tile floors and it never gets clean the way it was when you first moved in? Uh-huh, maybe. But anyway, so 
today's a whole cleaning situation, okay? We have to got tiling dot cleaning going on. We got a house cleaning going on. My first house cleaner ever in my whole entire life. I am about that life right now. I just feel like there's no need to suffer any longer. <laughs> like every now and then, like why not? Obviously the daily maintenance I do because it's very important. Like I can't just live in filth. But I wish I had gotten it before of the tile, but I didn't. But I, it's noticeably cleaner noticeably cleaner okay not sure if this means anything to you at all but it still needs to dry so it's still wet in the tile in some places but this is noticeably cleaner than it used to be praise the lord for uh, being a working woman and having enough expendable disposable income to do things like this to take stress off of all of us let me just say that i am just so spoiled and blessed by having a cleaning crew come and clean my house. I grew up in the hard knocks. I grew up doing all of this stuff. And as the oldest daughter, I had to do a lot. And I know how to clean. I know what needs to be done. But you know, sometimes this the, the nitty gritty stuff, we ain't trying to do that all the time. So I'm just so happy. I can see more clearly through my windows. Everything just looks better. <laughs> my, my, my mirrors are cleaner than they used to be. Like. They were so meticulous. It was a deep clean. They were so meticulous and so sweet. And they ask you to take a look at anything in case they need to go over something. They weren't rushing. I have nothing to compare it to, but they did such a great job. I am blown away. I'm like, this is what it means to be comfortable enough financially to have someone come and clean your house? <laughs> it was three, a mother and, and ch her children. They did such a fantastic job. I'm so spoiled by it. I'm so spoiled by it. Now I don't want to clean anything. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to pick up my vacuum cleaner again. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, I'm going to do my maintenance because, like, duh, right? I like things to be clean, so I can't just sit around here and wait for someone to come do it. But I, I was sitting here thinking twice a year for the cleaning service. But, baby, this might need to be, like, a every two months. I was thinking once a quarter. I think a quarter is good. Enter each quarter with a new financial goal in a new, uh, in a clean house. You know what I'm saying? It's just the, the, the nitty gritty that I don't be, I don't be trying to do all that all the time. You know, I don't be trying to be dusting all the time. I don't be trying to be, you know what I'm saying? It, it just be a lot. It just be kind of annoying. But I'm so grateful. If you've ever used a cleaning service, I want you to comment below and let me know if you've had good experiences, terrible experiences. I just had my first and I love it. I hooked up my back mirror to, did you see that? I hooked it up to my remote. See my studio tour? You'll know what I'm talking about. I changed it now to plug up to this. So just look at that. It's fantastic. You can't see it now, but I'm about to film a YouTube video. Uh, I'm about to film two YouTube videos. I have so much to do. Today was such a busy day, you know, I I had a feeling I wasn't going to be able to do much because I had people here doing work on the floors in the house, but I didn't realize I had let some things pile up, so now I'm like, and then he needs, we got to go to his school for a tour and to meet the team, Jesus, wow, like I filmed two videos yesterday, two, well, one and a half. One was just a portion of something. So two videos yesterday. And oh my God. I'm I'm sitting down right now because I have to I have so much to do. Between between trying to balance taking more time to breathe, but then also having a lot to do. Anyway, okay, let me let me start from the beginning. Yesterday I had the cleaners come. And I had the great idea to move my mic from the right side of my desk to the left side of my desk where it originally was months ago. So in moving it, I needed to get more, I needed more flexibility with the, the cord. So I unplugged the mic cord in order to move it and I plugged back the mic cord, okay? I sat down and recorded a video. I mean, I had energy, I was enjoying it, I was having fun, I was clever and witty and all these things. And my makeup was done so nicely. I thought I did that with the video. Okay, so, oh my God. Like, oh my goodness, okay. 
first of all, it was a story time. It was a great story. It, oh my gosh. It took so much for me to even tell that story. So now I'm like, do I even tell the story? Is this a sign that I should not tell the story? Or is this, is this pushback from the enemy and I should tell the story? I don't know. But I need to sit with this and think if I should redo this story time. But aside from that, my makeup was so nice. And now y'all are not going to be, I mean, I got pictures, but you don't have the video. Let me show you what the video is doing. So I don't know which part I was talking in, but here, let's just say, first of all, this is, this is not that long. Let's start here. I was talking here. Do you hear that? Like, there's nothing. Only the buzzing. I am just... This has never happened to me before. I mean, I have watched videos where other influencers have talked about this, but this has never happened to me before. And I'm so shook right now. I can't believe it. Like, I'm so shook that getting upset is not even going to do anything. And one piece of this is due this morning. So, I need to go and get ready and come and film and edit that piece right now. It's so unreal, but I'm sitting here and I'm actually wasting time. Like, I actually need to. So, oh my God. Jesus, Son of God. Jesus, Son of God. Jesus, Son of God. Okay. All right. Wow. This has never happened to me. So, when I got up to investigate the problem, I saw a. I pushed it in, but there was a small gap that I missed. So, I just recorded something really fast to test to make sure that my mic is on. I've never had to do this, wow. So let me hear, see if I hear myself. Test, test, mic check, te testing. Test, test, test. Oh my God. Wow. You can even hear that it's disgust in my voice. Okay, so <clears throat> I did just fix it, which is good. Wow. Like. This is unreal. This is un freaking real. Like, wow. Ugh. Okay. Not to mention, not to mention, I'm having an issue with my vlog. The vlog from last week. I'm having this issue. All this red missing camera data, whatever the heck. I've been doing research on it, but I had to let it go and work on other things because I have other things to do. So today's Tuesday and the vlog isn't even up yet. Because I, I, I was researching this on Sunday. I was working on this all Sunday. I was done, about to export, and then this happened. So yesterday, I didn't have time to even look, think about... I didn't have time to do anything with this vlog. Because I have I have content to do. I have stuff to do. And I need to schedule things. I can't talk about this right now. My chest is itching. My eczema. I just can't. I gotta... I'm adding some new items to my skincare situation here in the bathroom. This is normally under the counter, but honestly, it's really all the taking it up and putting it down. I ain't got that kind of time. I just leave it here now, okay? This is our bathroom. Nobody comes in here but us. I'm adding these to my situation. I have the Dermalogica Daily Glycolic Cleanser. This is new, I believe. Like I just got it new in. It's a brightening cleanser. This has AHA in it, so it's exfoliating. So yes, this is daily, but I'm going to go easy with it because... It could lead to my skin feeling wicked dry, but it's going to clear the yeah. It's going to clear out the pores absolutely, which is going to be fantastic. So this I'll be using on occasion, not every single day. Next to my sink, I do have the Tula Cult Classic, which I am enjoying. Very gentle. I have some empties. I'm going to go over and make a video on 
I'll make a video about and put it onto IGTV so you'll see those. I have gone through a few cleansers, but I'm using this one right now next to my sink, which is great. I have a different one in the bathroom, in the shower, excuse me, that I'm using. It's a first aid beauty one. But there are times where I do wash my face here at the sink and that's what I'm using now. I also have this Coco Kind one. I think I mentioned this in a different vlog. This one is really great. It is so like gentle it's an oat to uh, excuse me an oil to milk cleanser this is wicked gentle yo it's so gentle it feels strange so this is really great this i would not use with that when i have makeup on my skin i mean this is like my skin is so sensitive i need something gentle let me use something like this like it's just so gentle that you might feel like it's not doing anything but i do believe it is doing something it's so gentle though so just make sure your face is not too dirty when you use this, okay? It's gentle, baby. I don't know how else to say it. It feels really great, and I like that it goes from an oil to milk. It is fun to use, all right? And I got some JLo Beauty stuff here that I'm using. You will see this in some content coming up. I got some masks back here. It's been a while since I've done a mask. I need to do that. Making my way through this, this what's it called? facial spray. I have been using this fresh rose deep hydration. Is this the deep hydration? Yeah, deep hydration sleeping mask. This has been really good. What's fun is that it's a two-step situation on the inside. I do the gel first and the cream. This is good. Like, it actually really works. I've been enjoying this. This is glass, nice and luxe feeling. Works really well too, which I love. And then I've been using this from Sunday Riley. I mentioned this on stories, I believe it was, but I have mentioned it to you before. And what's nice about it is it's got granules in it. It almost feels like it's exfoliating. It's a cleansing balm. So you rub this on the face, emulsify it with, you put water on your hands, rub the face, and it feels really good. It looks really, it, like it, it emulsifies. So it starts to look like a milk, okay? Breaks down the makeup and then you rinse and then wash off the makeup. I like this. So I'm making my way through that. And I got some stuff here that is like the usual. Actually, you know what? Let me take some things out that I know are old. For instance, this got this Pond's serum, gotta go. I have ran through this thing. It's really good. It's just really old. So I'm gonna put this away and talk about it in my empties. It's almost done. So this was good. I also have back here what I know is old. This is old-ish. This is Innisfree. This is a clay mask. This is a pore clearing clay mask. This is not too old though. Hold on, it's just a few months. And I still got some product in here. Let me not get rid of this one quite yet. Let me use her tonight actually. I go by how I feel with my skin. If I feel like I've had my makeup on for a long time, I was wearing a mask, I really wanna clear my skin out, then I'm gonna really exfoliate. And by exfoliating, I might do that with you know, right now, an exfoliating cleanser, or I might do a pore clearing mask like this one, or the pore purging mask from First Aid Beauty. So I go by how I feel like my skin feels. If it's been a while since I've exfoliated, then I want to make sure that I exfoliate. I also have another exfoliating product up here from First Aid Beauty. You've seen this on my IG story. These are the facial radiance pads. They're easy. You just take a wet pad that's already saturated with the product, wipe it around your face, avoid the eyes, and you're good to go. You know, very simple, easy way to exfoliate the skin you already know that the shiseido clear spf stick is still in the stash this is a must so good i got a lot of stuff up in here okay i also have this from first a beauty oil minimizing toner i originally was concerned that this was going to make my skin feel dry not the case at all this is really good love that anyway not to go oops not to go through everything that's up in here okay but i was just adding a few a few things to what I got going on. Oh, and I have these cute travel size Dermalogica. These are exfoliators, okay? And they can be used every day. This is the original one. And then this one is age smart. This is a super foliant, excuse me. So this one is more gray, like almost black. <clears throat> and it's so cute. So apparently these are a one month worth. How do you say it? One month. It can last you a month, okay? They're travel size. And you take a little bit, put it in your hands, rub it with water. It gets to be emulsified a bit. Then you rub it onto your face. It's got enzymes in here in addition to the actual granules that help to exfoliate the skin. I've been using these 
They've just been over there. So let me move it and put them here. Yeah. blanket down that's what we agreed to do when we lay down for the most part is put a blanket down a white one that it's not going to rub off and easy to wash when it's time to do laundry right we can of course wash the you can unzip the covers to the couch and wash those i also have the handheld fabric carpet cleaner but it's just easier to just wash a blanket than to be washing these fabric covers and stuff I feel so strange laying down like this because if you know me and you've been following my vlog, it's just following. What was I saying? I have no idea. The battery died. What was I talking about relaxing? Not the battery, excuse me. It was the memory card. It got full. I had a small card in there. I changed it. I forgot what I was talking about. By golly, Miss Molly. What was I saying? Relaxing, creating boundaries, that part, something like that. It feels good. It feels strange, but it feels good. I took, my face is greasy, I need to blot it. I took my Gmail app and I put it elsewhere on my phone so that it's not on the immediate home screen so that I'm not always checking my email. I will check my email at certain times of the day, but I don't. I no longer want to be able to press the, the Gmail app at all times because, look at me scratching myself. <laughs> my skin's been dry, man, what is going on? I no longer want to just be on my email all the time. Part of the boundaries I'm creating for a healthier, happier life. You understand what I'm saying? I feel good, I'm happy that I have my makeup done. I wonder if I should, like on days that I don't film, I think I may become one of those people that just does their makeup in the morning. <laughs> I'm not used to that, I don't do that. But I feel good. I feel good just looking in the mirror and knowing that I'm dressed and I'm just like ready for the day, ready to tackle the day. Obviously, I already had a day because I went to go bring me to school. I'm tempted to go, oh, my chair is breaking, girl. I don't know if I'm just too thick, which really could be it because this is thick. But my chair is broken, girl. The butt is big. <laughs> the donk is dunking, okay? And the chair been doing a little one two one two, like stuff been falling off the chair. Stuff has been falling out of, out from underneath the chair. You know the screws and things. The screws been screwing, and they've been falling. And I've noticed it, but I don't. Okay, so one time I did look underneath it and try to fix it. Well, I I try to screw it back, but I don't really feel like it. Like I don't I don't have time to do all that. My I gotta lotion my chest. You know I have eczema. My my dermatologist told me to just lotion frequently. <laughs> So I just be sitting here and just be lotioning for just randomly. You know what? Let me lotion my chest right now. I got this from 54 Thrones, which is so cute. This is a, I want to say it's, a, it's an African brand. I want to say it's a Ghanaian brand. I'm not sure though, because right here I see that it fuses the depth of West Africa with the allure of East Africa, a majestic blend of Ghanaian and Ugandan shea butter. This just makes my heart happy. What's going on? This makes my heart so happy. I'm not sure if the grant, if the company, if the owner is Ghanaian or Ugandan or Egyptian, because it has Egyptian Yehoba oil. I don't know, but it makes my heart happy, okay? Let me put a little bit of this on my chest. I don't think this is like scented per se. My hands smell good. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm just gonna lotion up right now, okay? You might be like, this is not lotion, it's a butter. Baby, I call everything lotion, just like I call everything tissue. And I call, yeah, I say tissue. Even if it's paper towel, I'll say tissue. Listen, that's just, 
that's just how we do it. That's how we see it. And uh, I wanna, I'm tempted to get up right now and go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Home Goods or something like that to go look for a new chair. It needs to be white or cream just to match my aesthetic. A new chair, and while I'm there, take a peek in the, I almost said grocery, in the rug section and get a rug. But then again, I'm enjoying just the relaxation of, I have some dry skin on my back. I'm enjoying the, the relaxation of just being home that I'm like, I just want to continue to just be here. Let me get my shoulders. Girl, let me just undress a little bit. Just do a little undressing. Just lotion it up a little. My shoulders. Look at this. Shine, 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 shine. You know, when the song don't go well, it's a little bit exa it's a little bit exhausting. You know, oh, not the button coming on. Zone. Hold on. <laughs> Hi. I hate the way I'm even doing this. Listen, I took my nails off when I came back from North Carolina because I it was time. Or what? No, I took it off there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. And then I put, I was like, I'm going to just do a short nail for the meantime. Well, then I thought to myself, like, I was going to just not do a nail. I was going to just have my nails because I just had so much to do. And, you know, when I have a lot to do, I don't need long nails in my way. I don't need stilettos in my way. It's just, it's, it's just stressful, right? But then I was like, you know what? Rather than me just having my bare nails, and I like to just feel and look put together. So I want to have my nails done. That adds to looking put together. I said, well, I have short press-ons. Let me just put on a short nail. Duh. Instead of just having my bare nails. So I put these on. It's been a week and a half or whatever it's been. And they still look really good. What I love about white press-ons is that they don't fade. They don't get dusty and dirty. You get makeup on them, wipe it off, it's still fine. Versus when you do white nail polish, forget about it. Get your makeup on it, get a few things on it. You be looking real stupid. And I just don't like that. You know I do press-ons anyway, so it's not like I'm going to like that. I don't, I'm not painting my fingernails ever again, actually. I love a good press-on, baby. So there was that. I uh, like my, to my, my toes though. I had not done my feet in a while. In fact, what I ended up doing was I ended up taking a white polish and going over an old white polish. That is so trifly. I know that that is trifling. Like I, I already know what it is. It's not even something that has to even be discussed. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I knew it was trifling when I did it and I still did it. Now it looks raggedy. <laughs> You would never know because I barely go places even if I do no one's that close but I know and it's just the fact that I know that bothers me it's sprinkling outside not the sprinkles oh I don't want to go to the store in the rain it ain't that crucial yeah I don't want to I don't want to wrestle through the rain and the storm just for a new chair I don't want to be carrying that stuff out in the rain we'll see how I feel so there's that and oh, what was I was gonna say yeah, so I do need to do, I am due to do my toes. Part of me feels like with this newfound daytime freedom that I want to just go get my toes done. I liked having gel on my toes. I enjoyed it. It lasted like three weeks. The thing about it though is the toenails were, this is getting a little, if, you, if toenails are cringy to you, fast forward. Okay, the toenails were growing out. So you had that space, like when you need a new fill on your fingers, that space was annoying. But the toes looked shiny and great the whole time. Like not dull, not nothing. And I did white or like a cotton candy kind of color. And it looked so good. I just love it on my toes. It matches everything that I have in my hands. And it just looks nice and good. It looks great on brown skin. So I did say to myself that I wanted to get a gel system, you know, the gel polishes that Andrew Renee uses and then get the little machine curing, the curing. I used to have one of those back in the day when I used to do my hands, but I got rid of it because the hands wouldn't last. Well, toes will last. Hands, we wash our hands a lot. It's not going to last. That's why press-ons last better. So I'm tempted, like, should I go get my toes done and get let them do polish or should I just get, excuse me, gel? Or should I just order the whole gel situation from Amazon and start doing my own toe gel? Toe gel. Gel toes. That. But, like, is it going to come out the same way? Like, is it going to come out nice? I don't like... I like the press-on because it's going to look nice. It's press-ons. You know, you paint your toes. Sometimes they be looking a little one when I ain't. Like, and I need to say one when I ain't. It's like... 
you know, not gonna know how you be me. It is like, yo, then they're also a high. What is happening here? You see, so I don't know, like, I don't know. And then taking it off was a bit of a headache. I had to file my toes, which was strange, like filing my toes down with that machine from Amazon. I mean, I got, I got all the stuff. I got all the ingredients to make the dish, but it was like a lot. And then I did the whole toe wrap, the thing I wrapped with my fingers, you know, the foil, I'll link all the stuff, the foil that already has the cotton inside. I soaked it with the acetone and I wrapped it. It was just so weird to wrap my toes. And then when it came off, I don't know, it was just a strange experience, but I only, like that polish lasted, what, like three weeks. And it was great not to have to do my toes for three weeks. So I don't know now. What do you think I should do? Should I get the Amazon toe gel system? Or should I go to the... It's going to obviously be more cost effective to just do it myself. I like to do it myself. I enjoy doing my feet and my... I enjoy doing my own body maintenance, okay? I don't know. We'll see. FedEx did just pass by. I need to go to the door and see what she gave me. That's my girl. I forgot her name. She comes here like twice a week, drop off stuff. She's so sweet. <clears throat> I just forgot her name. <clears throat> I forgot her name. That's my girl, though. I forgot her name. Listen, I'm going to touch up my face. Get this oil off. You know what I'm saying? I could just take a tissue and do this, but, yo, I got mad products. Let's just use them, okay? Let's just go ahead and use these products. After all, what are they here for? Okay, this is Urban Decay D Slick Mattifying Powder. There's a newer one or a newer version or something that they have. I'll link that because this in particular is no longer around. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Got the oils off. I also like the Fenty one. That's in my purse. That's not here. You know, I have different different things in different places just because <laughs> I have so much stuff I need to make use of them. So I just have them around. I'm gonna pick my I'm not picking my nose. I'm I'm not blowing my nose. I'm collecting what is coming out of my nose <laughs> with random pieces of, I want to say tissue. It is tissue. It, paper towel, whatever you want to call it, is it's tissue. It's whatever. I took pieces of it. Yo, I used to feel like with makeup, I couldn't blow my nose. I used to feel like with makeup, I could not blow my nose. But you actually can because the makeup is going to last. You set it. It's already set. It's already sitting. You can blow your nose now. I don't be like taking the tissue and rubbing my nose like that's a problem. That's a little psychotic. I'm not gonna do that. I I, I blow my nose very gently <laughs> with tissue. And right now I'm gonna <sighs> oh, oh my god, I know you're like, excuse me. What is going on here? You know? <laughs> Just wanna get a little collection plate going with the nose and doing it in a way where the makeup is not affected you know yeah i mean i am gonna wash my hands but for right now i'm just gonna sanitize okay coconut coke what coke copa cabana hey copa cabana coconut my bath and body Bless his name. Well, that is what's happening around here. I took my earrings off because they were mad heavy. I'm downloading a family video right now from InShot on my phone. Oh, check the door because FedEx came. Yes.